Hello you, welcome to Geekism and welcome to Animal Crossing New Horizons where we're doing our first month island tour. It's actually a couple of days late, sorry, um, but um, this has pretty much been the first four weeks of the game coming out and, uh, and sort of showing you where we're up to with the island. So before we get started, a few bits about the island. Um, I decided that we're going to try and do sort of a fantasy, almost like an RPG kind of island. Think about some of the early Zelda islands or maybe still something you might play in D&D or World of Warcraft, something like that. We're going to go for very sort of uh, fantasy tropes around the place. We're going to have the market hall, we're going to have the jungle, the farm, uh, you know, different sort of zones like that. Um, the idea behind this came actually quite late into the game, probably only about a week ago. So there's a lot of old fashioned stuff still in there, a lot of more sort of like planes, typical uh, Animal Crossing kind of builds. But we're starting to work on some of the set pieces now. So we're going to be showing them, probably skim over to some of the other bits of the island. But again, this is a work in progress, really is uh, lots to go here it's probably gonna take a few months to really get it all finished i don't time travel um so uh, so this isn't uh, you know sort of i haven't jumped millions of years into the future and got loads of cash and all that sort of stuff we just play uh, the regular game we play some turnip stocks but apart from that we're doing nothing crazy so this is a bit of a slow process but hopefully you might get some fun ideas for your own islands around so first thing I wanted to do then when I came up with the idea of this RPG island was to uh, to think about how the airport can tie in with that. Obviously the airport isn't very typical fantasy. Normally these sort of things would have a dock. So I've started building out a dock here with some storage. Uh, there's some fish uh, ready there to be sold. There's barrels and boxes and all that kind of thing. And then we have our dock master here who is uh, Jacques. Uh, Jacques is a bird who uh, is actually wants to be a DJ but he dresses a little bit like a shipyard worker. He's got like a little woolly hat and a little bomber jacket and stuff so uh, and his building looks quite sort of uh, industrial so he sits here and he sort of guards the dock for us uh, as we then move up into the sort of re the main sort of hub of the island the, uh, the, the the business area of the island so we've got a cafe here really standard stuff this one most likely will get changed out in the future uh, this was kind of the first thing we did with custom building on the island you know sort of about a week or so into the game so it's pretty standard chances are that will uh, that will be changed changed and then we move on to the uh, the main square again very much a work in progress really like what i've done with the uh, the floor pattern here and the fountain but again pretty standard uh, standard stuff as far as the looks concerned i would much rather this be a really sort of uh, busy kind of bizarre area with there's jacques having a little sing song there look a uh, little bizarre area with loads of stalls and things piled up and all that kind of stuff it's gonna be really busy and really organic are the things i really want to kind of get across in this island so again a lot of this will change then we also have uh, uh, Nook's Cranny over here, which is kind of the, um, uh, again, the sort of hub of the uh, the area, but again, like lots of stalls outside of that, so definitely something to look at in the future. Moving up then, one of the first sort of main set pieces I'm really happy with, and that is the spa, the, uh, the sort of Turkish or maybe Roman style spa. Really happy with how this one came out. These gorgeous panels at the back, you can customise to have this gold plate on them. Uh, it's coupled that with a little bit of waterfalls. I'm afraid I'm a typical... Uh, I'm Animal Crossing player, I use far too many waterfalls, I just think they look awesome, they give some real sort of dynamic uh, sort of styles to builds and I think they work out really nicely but yeah we've ended up with this spa here, we've got some hot coals, we've got some nice beds you can come and hang out on, sort of get yourselves all chilled out and, and prepared for the uh, for the adventure ahead uh, which happens across the bridge here and we come to the keeper of the area, this is Nox's house, Nox is a, uh, a chicken knight, uh, rather funky looking dude he, uh, he his house is crazy he doesn't look like he's in unfortunately oh he's asleep the lazy so-and-so but his house is like full of coffins and he plays organ music and it's pretty insane so we put him here as basically a a, key, a guardian of the area you know if you if you're coming past here it's got like the gatehouse i suppose of the of the city and then we come up past Knox and we enter one of our first uh, real sort of big centerpieces, uh, which is the uh, the waterfalls area, uh, a lagoon area. And, um, and what I'm trying to do with all my villagers is kind of put the villagers into areas that make sense for them. Um, so they're not just sort of placed around in like a typical village that you would expect that you find a lot with, uh, with builds. They're all sort of placed around the island and in zones that are more suitable for them. So across the lagoon here we can jump and we get to Flora's house. Uh, Flora is a flamingo. Well, she's an ostrich. I guess, but she's all painted up to look like a flamingo. So we've got Flora's uh, cousins and stuff around here. Uh, we can pop in and say hello to Flora, I guess. Let's go in and see what Flora's up to. 
Uh, she's one of my favorite villagers. She's one of the newer ones, and she's I think she's absolutely adorable. Oh, Flora's doing some DIY. What you got, Flora? Let's have a look. I'm talking to you, yeah. Way in the DIY zone. Don't worry about it. Give, give, give me, give me, give me. Flora gave me a cherry hat, so not too happy about that, Flora. But never mind, we'll walk our way through the lagoon. And, uh, and it's about time we had a change of clothes because we're heading up into the higher area of the, uh, of the island now. So it's about time we got ready for a hike. So we'll get our hiking gear on and off we pop. Okay, so this area here is uh, very much a work in progress. I was using this, you'll see a few roses up the top there. I was using this as a rose farm because I really wanted some gold roses. Still working on that because this island isn't five stars yet, it's only four stars. Uh, I think one of the problems with that is I don't use really major crazy set pieces like uh, the Godzillas or uh, you know things like that to really bump up the, uh, the island rating with scenery. And also I really like, we I think weeds look good. I use weeds a lot to break up uh, large spaces of grass so I probably don't think they help either but we're getting there we're four stars um, but until we get that five stars obviously we're not going to get our golden um, our golden uh, watering can uh, but we're actually going to clear this area out because our secret uh, beach is just there and obviously with the update coming tomorrow uh, red is going to be traveling there so we need to make sure this area is all open so that's actually something we're going to be working on today uh, we actually live stream the game every single day at 1 p.m eastern time so if you wanted to come and join us but that's uh, that's what we're going to be doing later today on the live stream we're going to be clearing out uh, this area here uh, moving up then further hike up the hills we get to where I plant my money trees and then also our campsite. So nobody coming to visit us at the moment, unfortunately. Um, but here we've got our campsite. You've got some cozy little campfire over here. And um, and they're getting something cooked as well. Looks good. But also it's one of those really annoying campers who brings a guitar with them and plays Kumbaya. So maybe we'll give them as a skip. Nice picnic, uh, picnic mat there and the campsite and then unfortunately that's all we've got up here at the moment I'm just using this place to farm up some trees and stuff for spreading around the island and other places although my idea here is eventually to have a, um, a lantern walk um, so I'm getting hold of any sort of cool looking lanterns I can uh, we've got the bamboo lantern the Easter egg lantern the only decent Easter egg item in my opinion uh, and the shell lantern there they look so good when they're lit up at night so this will be like a woodland walk with lanterns uh, sp uh, put along the path but uh, at the moment I'm just kind of using in this space to harvest up some uh, some trees and some flowers uh, for moving into other areas of the island. Across the bridge and into another little mini campsite, so where Rhonda's hanging out. This is actually my wife's uh, tent. She doesn't really play much. She likes to just fish, so she comes on and fishes and leaves all the fish for me and then goes away, <laughs> which is handy. Uh, then we move into another area. This area eventually is going to be our jungle zone. Uh, we're going to try and get maybe a tiger uh, villager or someone like that, move them up here into a jungle. going to be loads of all different trees and plants and bamboo and, and wood and all that kind of stuff. It's going to look really awesome. And then eventually it moves up here to, again, a little bit more of a standard. We're going to have like a zen garden up here, uh, just because I think there's some really nice sort of zen pieces in the game. Sorry, that noise is my dog having some water. So she's just coming from having a walk with my wife. Um, so yeah, we're going to work on that. Uh, and then we're going to head over pretty much back to the beginning and start again, but go to the left this time instead of the right. Okay, so if we come out of the airport and take a left, uh, we get to... Um, the, the, I was thinking about doing a muscle beach thing here. It doesn't really work with the style of fantasy we're going for now. So this will most likely change out. This is where we keep our dead seagull. Uh, and then over here, we've got a couple more villager houses. This is Sherb's house. Uh, and then we've got a plot here ready for somebody else that we're going to move down from uh, the area just above. Uh, and then we move over here to another area we've been working on a lot. Really happy with how this has turned out. This is our farm area. So uh, first of all, again, we need to look the part. So let me just jump into a farmer outfit so we're a bit more suitable. Fantastic. Uh, so we've got our, um, our, our bees uh, apiary here. Bees uh, making up some nice honey. Lots of flowers for them to get into, which is pretty good. Uh, and then we have, oh, nice. We have another black rose there. Again, I've been farming up some black roses uh, as much as I can. And then here we have some farmy type villagers. So we have Truffles, uh, who lives up here. She's a pig. Uh, she's actually really fancy and she loves like uh, like like princesses and things like that but you know she's a pig so she lives on a farm uh, and then over here we've got our well we've got uh, Norma here who is a very cute cow and she lives over here in the meadow where we uh, where we dig up the hay and our scarecrow and stuff as well and then over here we've got some um, some other pens so we've got our black roses here and this would be where my gold roses go if I had any uh, but I don't so uh, oh and then we've got our sheep in the pet in the 
the uh, in the field as well. Our little uh, sheep having a graze there. Uh, they're looking pretty good. Kind of still though. I hope they're not poorly. Hi, Audi. So, moving on, another thing I want to show you then is uh, is this uh, walk, walk up to the museum, uh, and this is our memory lane. So here we've got all these stone stalls set out, and basically we're going to place an item onto each of these that represents a season or an event or a you know a, a time in the game. So uh, so far we had cherry blossom season, so we made a uh, cherry blossom bonsai. We had uh, bunny day. The less to be said about that, the better, I think. Uh, we had a fishing tournament. I only got silver because I absolutely suck at fishing and my wife was in work and she couldn't come and fish for me uh, and then we had the uh, the spring bamboo uh, we put a bamboo candle which doesn't actually use spring bamboo but it just it looked nice on the stool so uh, hoping we can start adding some more stuff to this soon because we've got nature day starting tomorrow and um, and then we've got uh, red well maybe can't do anything from red but lots of things coming museum day wedding season all that sort of stuff so hopefully this will fill up over the year as we head down to our museum so uh, the museum sits high and proud up there behind the mammoth uh, skeleton there we've also got a bit of an outdoor museum again a bit of a work in progress this one but uh, a few items here that we think look pretty good as part of the outdoor museum and as we come up to the museum we've got our dig sites down there where you can uh, you can see the motors running there for them to go and find some fossils uh, our museum there we've cleared out some space ready for bushes because we're getting bushes soon with the updates as well so these areas are going to be bushes over here and then we've got a little spot here where you can come and do some stargazing this is where i come and stand where i need uh, star fragments uh, when it's night time down the hill and to the side of the museum again bit of a work in progress this one we're just having a nice forest flower forest area so we need to still work a path through here but um, we're going to be working up here to uh, Deirdre, so Deirdre's a deer, and we thought she would sit quite nicely in a forest, although she does have a deer scare outside of her house, <laughs> so maybe she won't en uh, exit the place. And then we head over here, and then that's back up to uh, where we're going to open up for Red. Okay, last thing to show you then is my uh, house. Um, we've got a few houses here. These are all going to be cleared out eventually into other spots. We come over here and uh, we get to the house. Again, this happens a lot. I know uh, Animal Crossing players don't do not do their own house area much. They spend so much time on villages and other areas. So we've got to do a lot of work around here. But inside, we've actually got quite a bit done. So... As you can see, my character is a bit of explorer, uh, explorer of these fantasy islands. So, and he's obviously an older gentleman, you know, with the grey hair and the uh, the moustache there. So his house is very much a um, an older style uh, build um, with lots of sort of uh, funky retro furniture and uh, set pieces on the wall, lots of different things to look at. Uh, but overall, we're we're pretty happy with how this has turned out. So a bit of a sort of grandpa style living room, and then we head over into this room, uh, which we uh, we need to change for actually because we don't have the right attire for entering this room here we need to be dressed in our workshop outfit uh, we look a bit like Geppetto but Geppetto is um, not going into that mode Geppetto is not going upstairs either my word this is going well never mind we're in our study so I'll jump onto my professor outfit uh, and here we've got the study then so we've got our desk here I want to get a different chair this I've not found a proper den chair to go with this desk but he's got his typewriter there and then all of the cool things he's found on his travels uh, so over here we've got a bit of a spacey themed area with the telescope and the globe and the space charts and then we have a bit of a fishy spot here with different fish things our bug area has got his little book all about butterflies there and an actual butterfly and uh, some grass and things and some uh, big bugs on the wall and then uh, a few other little bit of random things we've got a bit more of a fish area over here with the marlin and the awesome posters that we got from fish day uh, from the fish tournament and then a projector here that you can pull down a screen i guess and look at some slides or what have you of uh, visits to the congo or something like that i don't know Okay, we'll try again with our workshop area. Here is our workshop room. So here's where we come and do all of our DIY. Wanted this place to look really messy, really used, really lived in. Uh, we've actually got three different DIY desks. We've got this big one at the back here, the uh, Highwood one in the middle here, and then the regular sort of mini DIY one there. But wanted lots of sort of chairs hanging around, stuff he's made, maybe cuckoo clock on the wall that he's put together different plaques a bit of ragtime on the radio there but uh, yeah this is where we come and do our diy next up is the kitchen again nothing too special here really there isn't that many kitchen sets in the game and we've obviously gone for iron wood with it being the most uh, versatile one but i think if you turn the iron wood into the old style with the customization get yourself one of these log burning stoves i think you can get a really cool sort of classic looking kitchen i'm really happy with how this one's turned out now finally where the magic happens which is the bedroom we've gone for like a jungle theme here in the bedroom so lots of animal prints uh leaf print prints leaf 
prints, dark woods, uh, and other things like that. Also, this is where I hang my fan art. Uh, we have a fantastic community here of incredibly creative people, and some of them have actually done fan art of my character. So uh, they're a bit fuzzy because that's just how the QR codes work in the game, but I've put them onto QR codes and hung them up on the wall here. So this guy's actually quite vain look. He's got three pictures of himself on his bedroom wall. <laughs> uh, but this is our sort of, yeah, jungly themed room. Uh, and there you go. There's a tour of the first month of progress on the island. Again, lots more to come. Like I say, we're not time traveling, so this sort of stuff does take a bit of time, I'm afraid. Uh, but I hope you've enjoyed looking at it. If you want to see the progress of it, make sure you're checking us out every single day we stream. 1 p.m. Eastern Time, Animal Crossing, uh, here on the channel. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. Till the next one, be good.